Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's news, Donald and Melania Trump greeted Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison and his wife Jenny on the port portico of the White House on Friday as a bevy of Fox News stars, presidential supporters, Australian celebrities and administration officials made their way into the second state dinner of the administration. The wife's exchange cheek kisses while the president and prime minister greeted each other. Melania wore a dress by Jay Mandel that cost around $6,000. As the two couples went to the White House to prepare to welcome their guests, Australian golf star Greg Norman, celebrity chef Curtis Stone, Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani and several administration officials made their way to the dinner venue. The former New York City mayor denied having an extra extramarital affair with Ryan, a New Hampshire doctor who allegedly called a woman with big boobs when he was with his then-wife Judith Giuliani. White House counselor Kellyanne Conway arrived solo in a black lace gown with a mermaid tail in the back. She didn't answer questions about why her husband George Conway, a frequent critic of the Trump administration, wasn't with her. Norman, the retired Australian golfer, said he hadn't golfed with Trump, his longtime buddy and golfing partner recently, but he was talking to the president about coming to Australia in January to see Tiger Woods play in the President's Cup, as he shrugged off criticism that the president gets for golfing most weekends. Nobody can golf too much, he said. Lachlan Murdoch, the son of Australian media magnate and founder of Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, arrived with his wife but ignored questions about his father's health. Making their state dinner debut was Trump advisor Stephen Muller and his girlfriend Katie Waldman, who walked through the formal entrance together arm in arm. They didn't answer questions and Waldman shyly lowered her head to the crowd. The guest list was heavy on Trump administration officials and guests of the Australian embassy. Australian chef Curtis Stone, a former contestant on Trump's Celebrity Apprentice, was there, his, was there with his wife, actress Lindsay Price. Fox stars and frequent Trump supporters Maria Bartiromo and Lowe Dobbs joined guests for the state dinner held in the Rose Garden under a starry Washington, D.C. night. Acting White House Chief of Staff Mickey Mulvaney and Trump advisor Dan Scavino Walk the red carpet other together, waving to the crowd of reporters and laughing off their joint appearance. New White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham, in a black and white dress, arrived with her boyfriend Max Miller. And also attending is the President's new National Security Advisor Robert O'Brien. He wasn't talking business though, saying there was no updates tonight on reports the US was expanding its military presence in Iran. But, the, but he did say after his first week on the job, it's been wonderful. Senator Joe Manchin, who is working on baptism gun background check legislation, had no update but said he is working on it every day. Notably, not in the crowd where any of the president's children, Ivanka Trump was in Rome for a wedding while Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump live in New York. Tiffany Trump attends Georgetown Law School in Washington, D.C. The East Wing offered a preview, a preview of the event to reporters Thursday night showcasing two of the tables that would be set up for the occasion while a military string orchestra played. The dinner will take place under a steady sky with a soft light of oil lamps illuminating the well-dressed guests who will dance and dine under the shadow of the White House and with the Washington Monument visible in the distance. Warm gold hues and soft greens dominate the dinner stage and were derived from the national flower of Australia, the golden wattle, which has a yellow flower and green foliage. The flowers hev heavily dominate the decorations, an appropriate choice given its rose garden location. American varieties of yellow and white roses will set the backdrop for the evening, while the tables feature centerpieces containing more than 2,500 roses from California in shades of yellow and Australia's national flower, the golden wattle. The ground floor corridor of the White House, where guests will walk through to reach the dinner location, will feature garden roses, jasmine vines, and dahlias, all grown in the, in the United States to welcome attendees. The menu highlights the late summer season of this late summer season from America and pays homage of Australia's special blend of culinary adaptations from, this, from its various cultures, the East Wing said in a statement. The first course will be sunchoke ravioli with Reggiano cream and shaved summer vegetables. Sunchokes known as earth apples are native to North America. The pasta will be drizzled with lemony parmigiano reggiano cheese emulsion and topped with shavings of sun gold carrots, baby kale and sunchoke chips. The main course will dover sole, roasted whole, then filleted 
and a scented with fennel muslin. Accompanying it will be green and yellow summer squash blossoms, which will be picked Thursday. Dessert will be an American classic and favorite of President Trump, Lady Apple Tart and Calvados ice cream, a rich vanilla ice cream topped with liquor. A variety of American and Australian wines will be served. Gold woven baskets with yellow roses and golden wattle to symbolize the friendship between the two nations will surround the guests. Pear branches from New England will fill decorative urns. The China, set, the China settings will consist of alternating patterns from the administrations of President Bill Clinton and George W. Bush. Melania Trump chose a table setting and, and decor that will reflect the strong ties between the United States and Australia, according to her office. Musical groups from the United States Army, Marine Corps, Navy and Air Force will entertain the guests. Morrison's visit will include a pomp-filled arrival ceremony Friday morning featuring military bands, a press conference with him and Trump in the afternoon, followed by dinner that evening. The morning arrival ceremony will feature nearly 500 members of the United States Armed Force from the five military branches for a review of the troops. Invited guests for the arrival include the President's cabinet members of the Congress, military families and guests of the Australian Embassy. But the most glamorous moment of the visit will be the dinner. The guest list will be a closely guarded secret until the invited start arriving at the White House Friday evening for the Black Tar event. Guests will, will likely include the Vice President, administration officials along with prominent Australians and Met Americans. Australian pro golfer Greg Norman, a longtime friend of the President's, told the Associated Press he will be attending. Rupert Murdoch, the Australian-born founder of Fox News Channel, one of Trump's favourite cable news networks, could also attend. He came to the last White House state dinner for an Australian Prime Minister, which was 13 years ago. The occasion is being called an official visit instead of state visit as Morrison is not the head of state for Australia. That would be Queen Elizabeth. The White House will be all spruced up for visit. The First Lady recently oversaw the refurbishment of the receiving rooms on the state floor of the White House, the red room, the blue room and the green room. The rooms which got trod through by official visitors and members of the visiting public got a fresh look with new rugs, draperies and furniture. Melania Trump also switched out some of the artwork on the wall. Friday's state dinner marks the second time the Trumps have bestowed such, as, such an honor on a visiting world leader. The first was for French President Emmanuel Macron in April 2018. In the first 24 months in office, President Barack Obama held three state dinners, President George W. Bush held two state dinners and President Bill Clinton held one state dinner, according to the White House Historical Association. The last time Australia was honoured was on May 16, 2006 when George W. Bush hosted Prime Minister John Howard. A state dinner usually conveys a unique bond between the two countries. Macron was one of the first European leaders to embrace Trump's presidency. Australia was, has pushed its close ties to the United States. After the 2016 election, then Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull was the second world leader to call the con to and congratulate Trump after getting his cell phone number from Norman. Norman lives in Florida and grew close to President, to President Trump over their shared love of golf. Meanwhile, Trump and Morrison spent time together at the June G20 meeting in Osaka, Japan, and a G7 meeting last month in, Bia in Bayreuth, France. Additionally, the President was bonded with the Australian ambassador to the US over a game of golf at My Lago. At the G20, Morrison invited Trump to President's Cup golf tournament in Melbourne, which takes place from December 12 to 15. The US team will be captained by golf champion Tiger Woods, whom Trump awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in May 2019. I'd like to, Trump responded when asked if he'd be there. That is it for today's news, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.